Well, we up here gave the nod to Virginia A crew in lane number one over University of Southern California out in lane two. However, we would like to point out that the buoys that you see at our finish line are slightly beyond the very official finish line. If you look at the elliptical island, elliptical island, uh, there is a board marking up there and it is aligned directly with the camera and the finish line look on the shoreline side and they line that up and watch for those crews to come across so our camera number one and the buoys number two are not exactly on the finish line so we'll wait for the official finish but right now from this vantage point and from our camera vantage point it looks like virginia a may have held off the challenge yes alan's a good reason for that you always place the buoy lines at the finish beyond the actual finish line uh, in part to make sure that the crews all race through the finish line and don't uh, try and sort of stop rowing or um, mistime their charge for the line. You always want to make sure that they're, they're racing for something slightly beyond the finish line. Six in one foot. Well, it was a tremendously exciting finish, and that gives us an opportunity to mention once again about the DVDs that are available at the merchandising tent. As you probably noticed from our Jumbotron, we have some tremendous camera locations. We have outstanding sound on the water, and this gives you a uh, wonderful souvenir of the 2010 San Diego Crew Classic. We are getting ready for the men's collegiate JV grand final, event 72, and we'll look and see what's happening at the start line. And we're down here just waiting the starter's command. Boats are aligned, and he started into his first command, and a hand popped up, indicating that the boat wasn't quite pointed correctly, so he held his start. But you can hear the starter's commands in the background. Again, that's John Walker, an international referee, from Southern California, our starter today. Yes, Bob, John was uh, one of the uh, international technical officials at the Sydney Olympics. So he's officiated in the Olympic Games. Attention. Go. There's the start. Let me set the course. Lane lines for you, the lanes for you. Lane one, California A. Lane two, Brown. Lane three, Boston University. Lane four, Stanford. Lane five, Orange Coast College. Lane six, Trinity College. All boats out, clear the 100 meter breakage without incident and relatively level at this point. Really a great opportunity to watch fantastic boat racing in this high quality field we have today. Brown has extended itself slightly in front of California. Now I say slightly, we're talking no more than two feet. And we look outside Orange Coast College in third, and then uh, Stanford and Boston University in Connecticut. Cal at a near lane at 35 strokes per minute, being matched by Brown and Orange Coast College. Orange Coast, a junior college from Costa Mesa, California, the only two-year program racing uh, nationally on this level. Does a fantastic job with our coach, David A. Grant. As we approach the 500 meter mark, it will be level with Cal pushing through Brown making a move at the 500 meter mark. It is Californian Brown, bow ball to bow ball. Look outside to uh, Boston University and Stanford. Stanford now making a move on Orange Coast, has gotten by Coast by two seat. And Brown and Cal decide that now is the time to go. So they are both answering each other, both going after each other and pulling themselves away from the rest of the field. Brown half a seat down on Cal, approaching the 500 meter mark. They are stroke for stroke, 750 meter mark, I should say, and they cross dead level, eight seats up over Stanford which has maintained the seat over BU and over Orange Coast College and Trinity College. 
Brown and Cal continue to battle it, bow ball to bow ball, as they are pulled a length over Stanford and BU. Those two crews maintain six seats now on, five seats on Orange Coast College and on Trinity. That is your call, 750 meter mark. This is the Men's Collegiate JV Grand Final, and checking once again lane assignments, the University of California A boat is in lane number one, and they are currently battling almost bow ball to bow ball for the leadership position with the lane two crew from Brown University. Then we look to Boston College, rather Boston University, in lane number three. Lane four is occupied by Stanford. Out there in lane five is Orange Coast College, and Trinity from Hartford, Connecticut, is in lane number six. Yes, as they came through the thousand, Alan, the uh, the two crews that did the fastest times in the heats yesterday, Calais and Brown, have separated themselves just about from the rest of the field. But the slight overlap on Brown coming from Boston University. But uh, we'll see how this unwinds, but we should see Calais and Brown moving away from the rest of the field in the final, in the third 500 and going into the final 500. With about 750 meters to go, our race continues to be between Cal along the shoreline and Brown. Then there is a bit of openness until we go back to almost sequentially Boston, Stanford, Orange Coast College, and Trinity. It continues to almost be bow ball to bow ball between California and Brown, lanes one and two. Stanford is beginning to creep up on Boston University. Orange Coast College has picked it up somewhat on the outside, but Trinity is not letting them run away with it. Yes, we're having one of these races here, Alan, which could finish in echelon across the course. The only uh, crew that's threatening to uh, upset that is Stanford, who are pushing really hard at Boston University for that third spot. This is Cal along the shoreline. They have led throughout. Brown University in the second position and the second lane. As Stanford is continuing to make a move on Boston University. Stanford out there in lane number four and Boston is in lane number three. Then we go out to Orange Coast College and Trinity College. It is California. Brown University. Boston University has fought back the challenge against Stanford. Outside to Orange Coast College and Trinity. This is California. Almost turned to Baumarker lead now over Brown University. Some open water back to Boston University. That crew has fought off the challenge by Stanford just outside the 1500 meter mark and then it goes to Orange Coast College and Trinity College. Cal Berkeley, apparently now the comfortable winner. Brown University in that second position. Then comes Boston, Stanford, Orange Coast College, and Trinity College. The men's collegiate JV Grand Final unofficially our top two boats. University of California, Berkeley in lane number one, the winner, and Brown University is in second spot. We are awaiting the start of event number 73. This is the Women's Collegiate Novice Grand Final. And while we're doing so, in addition to mentioning our vendor area that has a lot of tremendous displays, we also have a beer garden here at the San Diego Crew Classic. They are featuring 10 locally brewed beers and you have an opportunity to compare and contrast if you choose to do so. The beer garden is just to the south of the very tall yellow announcer stand and uh, it is across the grass area from the Jumbotron that is the beer garden here at the San Diego Crew Classic. 
Yes, yeah, the next races we have coming up, the uh, women's collegiate novice and the men's collegiate novice. Uh, novice covers a multitude of things. They may be crews that have never rowed before getting to university, or they may be crews that are essentially freshmen. That is, uh, they've rowed in school or junior programs, but this is their